Karachi, one of the largest cities in the world, is the financial hub of Pakistan. However, the people of Karachi are deprived of the basic necessities of life, such as water, which is becoming scarce in both the rich and poor areas of the city. Before we move ahead, we must understand the real issue behind Karachi's biggest problem. The water in the largest city of Pakistan comes from Kinjar Lake through multiple pipelines, which in turn gets its water from the Indus River. Karachi's alternate water supply is Hub Dam, which went dry last year and is situated quite far in Balochistan. Karachi is water staffed city. So most of the people uh, get the water from the wells and this is uh, the seepage water. It is a water which is highly polluted. This picture shows the original sewage system of Karachi. Karachi had uh, 20 years back uh, treatment plants, three treatment plants, TP1, TP2 and TP3 where the sewage water used to go and was treated and then uh, it was uh, dumped into the sea. However, these treatment plants became disused and now the Karachi city does not have any sewage treatment and the water of the sewage is going into freshwater streams which is Liari River and Mali River and Gujar Nala. This, these Nalas are taking the sewage to sea and the sea is getting highly polluted. In order to give Karachi some kind of sewerage treatment system, an interceptor is being built in Layari River and is proposed to be built at Malir River as well. But they are very expensive projects. Green Initiative recommends that instead of uh, putting in so much of money and transporting sewerage through these rivers to 32 uh, 35 kilometer, it would be much better to treat the sewerage in the localities and use that water to make those localities green, which would be much cheaper and uh, it would uh, be beneficial because the treated water will be reused rather than going into the sea. The biggest hurdle in resolving Karachi's water problem is the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board's inability to cater to the largest city of Pakistan. The Karachi Water and Sewerage Board has been reduced to a bulk supplier of water and has lost its mandate to distribute water to all people and recycle waste water. For the water and sewerage challenges of Karachi, a foundation needs to be created of the citizens of Karachi so that they take the mandate and upgrade the infrastructure and bring the organization's change, changes in the board so that the people of Prachi can get water on the lines that Patient Aid Foundation has upgraded Jinnah Hospital and it is functioning very well. However, the KWSB has a different story to tell about time that we find solutions because the water situation in Karachi is getting worse by the day and often the debate on solution bogs down into details whereas we strongly feel that the solution lies in fixing the governance structure of KWSB. KWSB suffers from a lack of investments in its infrastructure and in its governance for the last many years. The government doesn't have the resources to create a modern water utility. We suggest that the government invite an investor operator who will bring, bring the investment, who will bring the capital. And he will be given the, uh, he can charge, uh, it will be leased to him and he can charge a reasonable profit on it. The biggest advantage of this arrangement is that we will have a modern utility in Karachi, which is what we need. Karachi is currently meeting just 50% of its total water requirement. The city needs 1.1 billion gallons of water daily, but can only supply 550 million gallons per day. The Karachi Water and Sewerage Board is much maligned 
everybody talks about what a terrible job it's doing. But the point is that it's supplying water and managing water in extremely difficult circumstances in a huge metropolis. I think the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board handles more water than maybe a hundred countries of the world. So let's give them some some slack. Cut the, let's cut them some slack. So that doesn't mean that uh, we should uh, not have much to say about how it works. But I think that changing the governance structure of the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board would be a very important step in helping this board to tackle the water situation of Karachi. We must also at the same time look at the way the water mafia operates, what to do about that. We need to talk about how the whole cascade of privileges in the city means that some people get so much water that they can waste with impunity and there are others who don't get water to drink. Already the poor in the city pay many times the price of water that other people pay. The water crisis is the result of several factors, including leakages, water thefts, and the tanker mafia, which controls most of the water supply in the city. Improving the infrastructure of KWSB might improve the situation, but a lot needs to be done to fulfill the requirements of the people of the water-starved metropolis.